Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99. I'm back with another post fight analysis video for Invicta FC 41. All right, y'all, let's look at the main event Montserrat Ruiz versus Janissa Miranda. Uh, going into this one, man, Ruiz and uh, Miranda, they both had a lot to show and prove. You know, they uh, both wanted to get a top level opponent and they, w they wanted to make a big statement. You know, Ruiz, uh, I think they both had a little bit of bad blood slash competitive blood going in this going into this fight. Uh, Miranda, she's had a few fights that didn't go her way, so she wanted to go in here and make a statement against a top level fighter. You know, with only one loss in Ruiz, but Ruiz, you know, she killed all that. You know, she killed all that with this aggression and her wrestling skill and just her momentum in this in this fight. And she proved to be too much for Miranda and was able to stop Miranda in the very first round. Uh, I didn't see that coming. I thought this fight might have went three rounds. I had it. I had it kind of 50-50 going into this fight, but uh, Ruiz, like I said, that momentum, it's just, a, it's just a game changer sometimes when you try to do your math with co combat sports. You know, the math in combat sports is never is never really definitive, you know. Um, there's never just one answer. But, uh, yeah, just going into this fight, you know, the, the first and only round, uh, both of the ladies, they really, they really uh, came into the center of the octagon and, and started throwing with some bad intentions. You know, Miranda was throwing some good leg kicks and uh, landed a good left hand but Ruiz she came back with a few right hands and she was trying to come with pressure but Miranda she started controlling the fight at a distance and wanted to control the fight at a mid-range to land that right hand but uh, Ruiz right away she went in for a clinch because she was trying to just smother that work and she wanted to keep it on the inside and make it a rough and ugly fight and you know she tried for the takedown but Miranda she defended that first takedown well and you know she broke free started util utilizing feints and just keeping the fight at a distance. But every time she tried to set this mid-range fighting, you know, Ruiz would just disrespect all that. You know, she would just kill that rhythm and just straight rush in with strikes. You know, some would land, some wouldn't. And Miranda was able to counter a few times, but, you know, it was really offset Miranda. You know, I don't think she was ready for uh, Ruiz to just bum rush her like that. And uh, a couple more times when Miranda was just waiting from the outside, Ruiz just rushed in again. You know, she wasn't fighting at this mid-range. She just rushed in behind these strikes, landed a few strikes and saw they worked because Miranda didn't answer back right away. And she rushes in for a third time and lands a good one too, backing Miranda into the fence. And Miranda's like not throwing back a counter. And so Ruiz just jumps straight in for the headlock and she gets the body toss. And when she gets that body toss, she's got Miranda's head in a headlock. And then she has Miranda's left hand locked between her legs. So Ruiz got her her left hand locked in and then she's got that headlock so Miranda's really defenseless while she's just firing off shots now Ruiz is just opening shots off on a on a defenseless Miranda right in her head so Miranda's really trying to get away out of here and Miranda tries to spin her body to the left like she crawls across the fence her body like scrapes across the fence and lands to the left but when she does this she kind of spins at an angle with her right arm excuse me, with her arm locked in between Ruiz's legs. And when she does that, it kind of twists her own arm and she has the tap. Like, if you look at the fight, look at the fight for yourself. But I thought it was like, first time I thought it was like the strikes. I thought it was the strikes that made Miranda tap. But it looked like the way her arm got twisted into that, that lock, it was almost like she submitted herself. So yeah, man, either way, I think Either way, I think she was going to have to tap either from the strikes because she was defenseless, but it was like the arm, whenever she twisted her own arm, it just made her, uh, you know, kind of tap even earlier. But yeah, man, um, go back and look at the fight, you know, if you want, you know, I, I, it was just that angle of the way the camera was because it was shots coming. Then I saw the arm twist and I just kind of saw like the reaction of uh, Miranda's face change. So I, I just felt like she had submitted herself. But yeah, it was overall good performance by Ruiz. I really felt like, you know, she put the pressure on Miranda and, you know, she wanted to make a big statement and she did that. So, uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section what y'all thought of the main event. Who do you want to see these ladies fight from here? Uh, I would like to, I would li actually like to see uh, Ruiz in a fight with Emily Ducote. That would be a good fight because uh, Emily, Emily Ducote just beat Juliana Lima. And I think that Ducote and Ruiz, these two would bring a nice style, you know, the way the way Ruiz puts that pressure on you. And then you got uh, Emily Ducote, who's a very good volume puncher at times. You know, like she's an accurate puncher, but you know, she can throw some very hard shots, you know, and she throws them in volume at times. So I think that would be a good straw weight fight for uh, these two next. But yeah, let me know in the comment section what y'all thought of the main event. If you saw it, if you haven't, go back and watch it. Combo Breaker 99, I'm out, peace.